Hey, this is Dave from Bay Stencil. We're going to make a stencil from an image. The result is going to be that we have an SVG of a bridged stencil that we can cut on our craft cutter or a laser cutter. The first thing we need is an image. I like to get my images from Unsplash because they have lots of great images there. And lately, we've been seeing a lot of heavy duty from uh, nurses in our population, so I think I'd like to make a stencil of a nurse. Bruno, uh, let's download your picture. Thank you very much. And now that I've downloaded that JPEG, I can upload that JPEG to Base Stencil. On Base Stencil, I go to upload an image. I'm going to choose the image. Now, here I see these little blue handles here, and I think I want to crop this image just a little bit. Um, I generally crop things pretty tight. In this case, I'm going to leave it a little bit looser. Sometimes I like to go right into the details of the face. But here I want to leave it a little bit looser because I want to get the detail of the stethoscope in there. So, uh, and I put my email address in here. One note about um, where this image is going. This image is going to base stencil and it's not going anywhere else. In fact, once you're, uh, once you're done with your image, this image is deleted and we'll never see it again. Great, it says here I'm gonna get an email from David at stencil.com. That's great. And while I'm waiting for that email, I might be looking at some of these cool photos in this gallery, which are also stencilized already. Ah, that's cute. Okay, in less than a minute, I get an answer back here. And it looks like our uh, picture of the nurse Bruno has been stencilized. I really like the way these two look. I even like this one. And for a one color image, um, for a one color stencil, I like this one too. I'd like to see how this one goes. I'm gonna click on this one. And when I click on it, I see that, oh, once again, it's working. And I'm gonna get another email back from Base Stencil. And if I don't see it in a few minutes, I'm gonna check my spam filter. But my guess is I'm gonna see this within a minute or two. All right, so less than a minute later, I get this uh, email back. And I see a sample here of Bruno stenciled on the wall. That looks great. And I see what the stencils might look like if I cut them out. Now, I can buy these stencils. Um, looks like we're having a summer sale. Um, stencil kit for $27.95, that seems like a great deal. But I also might want to just go and um, buy the digital download. So if I buy the digital download, it's super cheap and I can cut it myself. That's what I'm gonna do today. Great, it looks like the PayPal purchase went through and I hope to get an email confirmation that shows me how to download my stencil. Oh great, so my download is ready and I just have to go to the download page. And I see this button here that says download and there we go. Looks like my PNGs and SVGs and PDFs and EPS, DXFs are all there. On a craft cutter, what I'm going to typically want is these SVG layers, but uh, be aware that there's also BS files in here, that stands for base stencil, which allow you to print a little bit in a little bit special way, and there's more uh, detail on that later. Notice too that there's a PDF in here that shows me uh, what the printed uh, stencil finally looks like, and it shows me which layers I should be painting different colors. So for example, this layer around the outside, if I choose to paint it, would be a light steel blue. Uh, the layer here that has the, um, uh, the detail from the, around the edges here is a cornflower blue, that is the detail in the, the tunic. And then there's a royal blue that's also in the tunic, and a sienna that is the uh, tones of the face, and finally a dark slate gray, which is, could be also uh, black for the beard and the hair and the eyes and the details. Notice that if I just look at this, um, at this one part of the stencil, that I get a lot of the detail, the face, the eyes, the smile, the nose, 
get a lot of detail from this very last dark layer and that's really important. Let's take a closer look at what these layers look like. You see how each of these layers is bridged? No part of this stencil is going to be floppy or is going to fall out as a result of your cutting a piece out with a laser cutter or a craft cutter. You see this island here? It's bridged in three different places so that it stays firmly in place. You may not need every single one of these bridges, but it's a lot easier to take a bridge away than it is to add a bridge. So there it is, our stencil of a nurse in a few easy steps on base stencil. The next step is to cut it, and how you cut it depends on what software and what cutter you're going to use. So that's it for now, this is Dave signing off from Base Stencil.